Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a deep dive on Yagi the Bookshop Goat. First off, look how cute this first page is. Adorable. So Yagi lives in this world where it's basically divided between herbivores and carnivores. Now Yagi works in a bookstore on the carnivore section of town because everybody in the herbivore section would not hire him. There's a prejudice against goats because they eat paper all the time. Nobody wanted to hire him in case he started eating the books, which he accidentally does on occasion. The one who actually hired him is Ukami, who is a wolf. Now Yagi absolutely loves books and that love began when he was a child. He actually ran into this older boy who was working at a local bookstore and he showed him all of the different types of books that he can actually read and enjoy instead of just eating them. Now Yagi also has this very special ability that when he eats papers or books he can actually taste the emotions behind it. And with this said ability, he's able to make displays around the bookstore according to his tastes, almost like a curator, so it drums up business quite a lot. So I thought this was so freaking adorable. I absolutely loved this. Yagi just being so freaking sweet and adorable, just living his best life eating books and being around books because he grew to love them. And Ukami is really just trying to protect Yagi because he knows he is basically surrounded by a bunch of other carnivores including himself because obviously he's a wolf so he's trying to keep his instincts you know at bay as well as his feelings and just keep them kind of hidden but Yagi with his special tasting emotions ability basically when he starts eating pieces of paper that Ukami has written on he starts noticing that there is some kind of feelings there this was fantastic it was sweet it was spicy I loved it